Howdy all, and welcome to another Joe Ross drawing caricature mugshots here on After Prison Show. I know a lot of people probably had mixed feelings about the first installment of this series here on this channel, but I gotta be honest with you, I really enjoyed it. Today I've found a couple of more mugshots we can look at together and possibly try to capture on the canvas beating the devil out of it. I don't want to waste any time. So let's get right into this. You know, we probably should put some sort of a poll up where people could vote on the mugshots that we draw. I read comments that said people would like to see me draw their mugshots. So possibly that's something we could do in the near future. We're going to look at a few mugshots that I've gathered and see just which one we'll try to make a little magic happen with. Also, one final thing, I swear I'm not trying to drag this out very long. If you would like old Joe Ross to possibly draw a caricature of you, you can reach me at Joe P. Guerrero 2 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and look at this first mugshot right here and looks like this individual has certainly seen better days locked up for drunk in public. I didn't know that was still a thing. I thought everyone was social distancing. Kind of interesting. Not sure if that's gauze or possibly his teeth hanging out of his mouth. Not much to this next one right here, just intrigued by the egg-shaped dome this individual displays. Locked up for a hit and run, driver fails to report $1,000 of damage to property. Ouch. I also read comments where people said they'd like to see me draw somebody covered in tattoos. Well, I think this one here takes the cake. Psychopathic tattooed above the eyebrows. And I think that's fitting considering he also has bullet holes tattooed on his forehead. And not sure what he's got tattooed right there on his neck, possibly low life. Quite fitting. We've also got this individual here fancying himself possibly as the Tiger King in real life. This guy actually has cheetah print tattooed all over his face. And if I'm not mistaken, a cheetah is quite a fast animal, possibly running at over 60 miles an hour. Obviously, the leopard print tattoos didn't make this man any faster or able to outrun the police. You can't outrun the radio, they oftentimes say. And then this... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of this too much. And then this individual right here with an absolutely intriguing shape to his head, judging by the size of his forehead, that while locked up could give other prisoners a lot of ammunition to crack jokes about, or possibly it's some sort of a brain tumor. I'm not honestly sure. This man has what is referred to while locked up as a five head, not a four. Eyes very close together, long nose, and quite the protruding bottom lip. Folks, those are the mug shots that we have to pick from here today. And I'm curious to know which mugshot you think we should capture on the canvas. But since I can't know that, I'm not a mind reader. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my best guess, either between the Tiger King lookalike or the psychopath and gander, that you probably wanna see me draw the Tiger King, but we're gonna draw the psychopath instead. A guy with tattoos all over his head. sound. I'm not sure what this man is locked up for, nor can I make out all of the tattoos that he has, but we are going to try to capture his likeness to the best of our ability right here, right now. So let's go ahead and try to work in the initial sketch of our subject, starting with the top of his head. Now, even though this man has quite a basic looking head, we are going to try to exaggerate certain features. There's the top and let's come on down to what appears to be not much of a chin at all. And then we're going to have a little stubble down here for the goatee beard. We're going to make his neck a little bigger than usual just so we can leave enough room for the tattoos. Put in the schmuck, the schmuck. There we go. 
See how quickly we worked in that head? I really want to blow out the side of his forehead a little bit more. There we go, nice. That looks okay. Let's go ahead and work in the nose. Not much to that at all, just a tiny little nose. Some flaring nostrils, just a little bit right there. There we go. The side pieces of the nose, not sure what that's called. The tips of the nostrils, possibly. And then we'll work the nose up to about right there. Nice. There we go. Doesn't appear this guy has very much of any eyebrows. So we'll just put a couple of wisps of some eyebrows right there. Oh yes, just some wisps. Let's work in the eyes. There we go. Nice little rounded eyes. Yes. Oh, that looks, that looks okay. His eyes are kind of close together. So we'll make sure that we don't put them too far apart and work in the eyeballs, the pupils. There we go. Maybe we can bring that eye in just a, just a little closer. Right, there's the nose right there. Make sure we capture that exactly how that's supposed to be. Some bags under the eyes, possibly indicating this man hasn't slept in weeks. He's gonna get a lot of time to sleep while locked up, I imagine. Dilated pupils, not surprised to see those at all. Not sure exactly what this man was locked up for, but if I had to guess, it's possibly drugs. These eyebrows have to come down just a little bit more right there. And droop the eyes just a little more. Let's go ahead and work in the mouth. We haven't even worked on the ears yet. I'm excited to get to those. Okay, for the mouth. mustache going right there. Ah, yes. And we'll clean this up a little bit as we move on. Big old chin right there. A little bit of wisps of hair. And more hair up the side right there. Now one of my favorite features, the ears. This man has a little bit of protruding ears, but nothing too much. Kind of some loopy ears as well. There we go. They don't stick out too much. Somebody said in a previous video I was jealous of big ears, considering when I look straight at the camera, mine disappear. There we go. Go ahead and work that ear in right there. Uh, that ear is a little off. Let's go ahead and Correct that while we can. Bring that up there. Nice. Another receding hairline. Psychopathic. It's pretty, a pretty unique tattoo. This man has across the top of the eyebrows. Psychopathic. I wonder if there's any truth to it. I imagine there is. Psychopathic. Nice. Couple of bullet holes right here. I don't know why somebody would want bullet holes tattooed on them. Probably makes it quite difficult to find a job. Don't know what he's got going on up here. Some sort of a tattoo, something there, possibly a misprint of a tattoo there. Some sort of a circle piece here. Probably a gang sign, if I had to guess. Not sure that's okay for me to be drawing. The eye that looks absolutely horrendous. Another tattoo, whoever his artist is, he might want to consider trying someone new. I don't know what that's all about right there. A couple of stars underneath the eyes. Probably guaranteed. Possibly the new age teardrop those stars are. Maybe these represent bodies. I don't know.
Now for down here, I just think it says low life. I could be wrong about that. Not honestly sure. I guess that's a W right there. I'm going to go with my guess and just say it probably says low life. Oh, it kind of droops down, actually. We'll try to clean that up as we continue on. And some stripes. Just like so. Folks, I know this doesn't look too good, but hopefully we can sharpen this up with a Sharpie right now. Let's take our Sharpie and try to tighten up some of these features here. Start with the nose. There we go, nice. All right, yes. Let's tighten up the flare on that nostril right there. There we go. There we go. And let's go with the eye. The eyes don't have to be perfect. Definitely some decent bags under the eyes. Oh yes, a few wisps for the eyelashes. Nothing too much to those. Maybe he shaves his eyelashes and the mouth. We've made his head quite humongous, quite the exaggeration. Let's see if we can make it just a little bit cleaner here. Ah, yes, working that stubble of a goatee, right like so, there it is. Ah, beautiful, just a couple little, couple little rough marks, nice. Sometimes you can lose the image quite quickly, and sometimes you are able to rein it back in. Hopefully we're able to do that here. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm not exactly 100% satisfied with the way this image is turning out so far, but like old Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. I wonder if it was a happy accident that possibly led our fella here finding himself being under arrest. Again, I don't know what the tattoo is, so we will just pretend it doesn't have to be perfect. There's our guy right there. Uh, the low life tattoo. Again, we see that that kind of creeps on down around his neck area. Uh, there we go. I wonder if this guy saw this. Would he think we did a good job? Or would he possibly 
want to kill me. Who's to know? A couple of stars, again, possibly indicating bodies. Ah, yes. Nice. Psycho. Pathic. I can imagine this probably won't help his case in front of a judge. Those pesky bullet holes. Maybe he was actually shot for real. Possibly he tells people that he was. And then, not sure what that's about. Again, some sort of a tattoo up in his head. We don't know what that is. And I believe another tattoo right there. Folks, I think that's about perfect. We're gonna go ahead next and erase our pencil lines and then add a little shading to finish up this masterpiece. Let's take our eraser and get rid of those pesky pencil lines. Professional caricature artists, they draw these without using a pencil. I've never really been that good, as you can probably tell. I don't think we've done too bad here. I'm actually quite impressed by how this came out. This man looks quite mad, not happy to be here. But I imagine, and also know, that anytime you're being arrested, you're not gonna be happy. Unless possibly you've got some information that could help get you out. Maybe work with the police a little, Takashi 69 Well folks, that's not so bad if I might say so myself. But now, let's go ahead and really bring this picture together. We've got our graphite pencil right here. Let's just go ahead and start throwing in just the hint just the hint of some hair. Maybe even around the eyebrows, just a little bit more. Not so bad. Around the nose, like so. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, definitely gotta capture those bags under the eyes. Again, this man probably hasn't slept in close to a year. I wonder what made him wanna get psychopathic tattooed on him. If you've got any ideas, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. There we go, let's really get that, that facial hair up in there, nice. Ah, uh, yes. subject right there. Now let's go ahead and use our trusty pointer finger and really work that graphite into the canvas. Ah, there it goes. Nice. Nice. Yes. Really, really capture those around the tattoo areas. Not so bad. Folks, I think we've just about nailed this one. And again, I really wanna know what all of you think. How do you think it turned out? Did we do okay? Or is it horrible? I'll look forward to hearing what all of you have to say. And as we wrap this up, I'd like to say that I hope you enjoyed this latest installment of Joe Ross here on After Prison Show. I'll look forward to hearing what all of you think about this. And as always, please leave a like and a comment. 
letting me know exactly that. And whether or not you think that we nailed this or if we probably shouldn't quit our day job. With that, I'll go ahead and bid you farewell and happy painting. Goodbye now.